Thanks for joining us for another Ecological Niches video. Today, we're going to talk about the six levels of ecological organization. It is very helpful when communicating about things in ecology to use words that have different organizational meanings. The six levels of ecological organization, as I prefer them, are an organism, the species or population, a community, the ecosystem, biomes, and the entire biosphere. The first level is organism. An organism is a single individual, like this single juniper tree here, is only one individual living thing, or this single frigate bird, or this singular whale shark, or one garter snake. The second group, species or population. Let's start with population. That is when all members of the same species, sometimes broken down by geographical area, such as this population of all the wild horses in this herd from Utah. That's the population. Species are a little bit trickier. An example of different species are these two shoreline birds. They are different species. One, the snowy plover, and the second, the western sandpiper because they cannot mate with each other and produce offspring, which are children, that can also have offspring. The third group, community. A community is all of the living things in an area. It is all the trees, grass, animals, fungi, bacteria, and all other life forms present. An example of the community is this chaparral community. The sagebrush, the scrub oak, the bugs and animals, microorganisms found here are all part of the community. But we do not include the non-living things such as elevation or the amount of sunlight or the lengths of season or rainfall. This is what brings us to our next level of organization. The fourth group in which ecology is named after is the ecosystem. An ecosystem is all of the living things, right, like the community before, as well as all those non-living things. The ecosystem once again includes plants, animals, microorganisms, as well as the rocks, the amount of light, the temperature, the rainfall, and everything else you see and experience. An example could be the Mojave Desert ecosystem pictured here. This includes the Joshua trees and barrel cactus as well as all the birds, animals, insects, microorganisms, as well as the hot temperature during the day, the cold temperatures at night, the lack of rain and snow, where water can be found, as well as the rocks present and minerals in the soil, the wind, and so, so much more. The fifth level is a biome. A biome is the name we give to similar ecosystems all around the world that we group together. The number of biomes in the world changes depends on how you ask. The traditional five biomes, the simplified version, is the aquatic, grassland, forest, desert, and tundra biomes with some different groups advocating for as many as 26 separate biomes. The sixth and final group is the biosphere. The biosphere is the entire surface of the Earth. Since the Earth is the only place we have found life, at the time of this video anyways, it contains all the known life, and this is why we use the beginning of the word, the prefix bio, meaning life. In this context, it gives more weight on our decisions as humans that affect all the known life in the universe, because this is the only place we can find it. This is the only life-sustaining world, so let's keep it as life-sustaining as possible. The world here, the biosphere, is extremely connected. We ship packages, cars, plants, and more across the world. This is a great thing, but also brings many challenges. Furthermore, the things that happen in our local ecosystems and habitats can and will have far-reaching consequences. 
One example is that we can see the smoke from wildfires in some of the bigger fires over the last few years in California. They have clouded the skies as far as the Netherlands, which is over 5,400 miles or about 20% around the earth in just one direction. What we do affects not only our immediate surroundings, but can also have rippling effects for ecosystems, biomes, and the whole biosphere. Thanks for watching another Ecological Niches, or as some of you say, Niches, video. If you want to see more videos, hit the subscribe button. If you want others to see it, hit the like button or even share a link with others. If you have comments or questions, put it down in the comment section and we will respond. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.